know, uh, ancient discoveries thing. Um, some of them might change history and they're not that significant, but I thought they were interesting. So, uh, but anyways, here we go. And it's to make this one and there's another one finished. Thousand year old Viking sword in extraordinary condition discovered in Ireland at the former Beamish and Crawford Brewery in Cork City, Ireland. And here they are. Owned by Heineken now. <gasps> Excuse me. So, this uh one of a handful of artifacts of exceptional significance uncovered during recent excavation works there. Uh, also found were untouched plant, ground plans of 19 Viking residences, relics of central hearts and bedding material. For a long time there was a belief that the strongest Viking influence was in Dublin and Waterford, but it shows otherwise now. Uh, of course, we know if you you know, study this type of stuff, you know, looking back in history, uh, not just what they tell you, but you see how much trade went on back then with different cultures and countries and stuff. So it was, this is not really, and you know, the uh, migrations and all that stuff like that and taking over countries and stuff still goes on today. But anyway, here we go. There's another, there's a one from the Irish Times there about it. And here's a close up there. See, that's neat. Anyway, and here's that again. Okay, and then we have thousand year old Viking burial, boat burial discovered under Market Square, Norway, June 24. What are you doing? Weird. That wasn't you. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so it had bones and sheet bronze still inside. It just had the nails and stuff. It wasn't in no wood left. So, and it goes into the history of the importance of ships in their society and how strong they built the boats. I mean, they could cross the Atlantic, you know, so, like the Scottish uh, did too, as well, to the Americas. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, here is that place where it was found, Trondheim, uh, there. So, oh look, Jewish history. It's everywhere, see? Anyway. Oh, that's cool. Looks kind of, uh, Chinese there. Hmm. Anyway, that's interesting. Let's see. That's cool. Anyway. Okay. And there's the news. You can check out some of it. It was interesting. There's about the wireless. Uh, they're getting fully electric buses. Uh, autonomous and zero emission container vessels. I think I've done that. Just, uh, for the Netherlands there. About the boats there. I've seen a video about a while back about that. You know, they're pushing the autonomous vehicles here now, so there's some other stuff here to look into as well. I'll leave these links there. And here's five ways ancient India changed the world with math. And now, now look at them. How? Anyway. The number system, concept of zero, solutions for quadratic equations, rules for negative numbers, Basis for calculus. That's it. 
Anyways, it's just something to look at there, y'all. You want to check into that. I'm not, not big on masks myself, so anyway, here's this was from 2014. The Indian sage who developed atomic theory 2,600 years ago. Uh, can't pronounce his name there. Uh, he said he was a philosopher. His, his traditional name means atom eater. Oh wow. Interesting. In his school, he attempted to explain the creation existence of the universe by proposing an atomistic theory applying logic and realism. He is among one of the earliest known systematic realist ontology in human history. Wow. Interesting. Anyway, um, there's a thing there. Search. And um, in here we have a. We go from. Ancient wisdom to toilets. I'm sorry. Thousand year old flushing toilet found in South Korea. Used by the Sila Kingdom. How the, it's, it shows the light on how the royals used the rip bathroom. You know, you can imagine how the peasants did. Uh, so. And the, among the relics revealed were toilets in the plumbing system. And the water was poured manually, it was set up to where it would naturally flow. Uh, made out of granite. And they found storage facilities, a well, and what's presumed to be the foundation of the palace gate. And now they're going to see how, the, they can't tell the exact size of it because it's, you know, not there anymore. It's pretty much it's demolished. And here's from here. That's not from there. That's from uh, Poland. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, here's about Sila. Kingdom. And there was something on the peninsula there. <clears throat> and the language. I may get this all into one, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna. And there's the Sicilian language. Uh, it was spoken in the ancient kingdom of Sila. There, it's not spoken anymore, so it probably was assimilated into the others, or done away with altogether, so. Anyway. And here is the Three Kingdoms of Korea. So we went from Viking Sword, Viking Boat in Norway, that was in Ireland, this is in Norway, India, Math, and Atomic Theory, Toilets. <laughs> Oops, wrong page. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, I thought that was neat. Uh, there, this is stu all this stuff is worth mentioning. You know, shows how the how they used it. Just imagine, like I said, how the peasants had to use it. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I'll see you on the next one. See you. Good to the. Mm, have a great day. I'll see you soon.